Do you like Doctor Who? Then you're in the wrong neighbourhood. A while ago I reviewed this. The History Between Us, a fantastic big old zine of stories about the Doctor and his relationship, or her relationship I should say, with the Master. You've probably heard of it. Well those men! <coughs> well the talented folks have done it again, specifically spearheaded I do believe by Natalia and Vicky, but this time about the 13th Doctor and her relationship with Yaz. I'm not going to go into my opinions of it in the show because it's not what this is about. Shut up. And surprisingly, I'm not going to go too much into the book itself, but I will give you a lowdown, of course, of what it is by reading the blurb! Everyone knows the story of the Doctor and Yasmin Khan. They met, they travelled, they felt things for each other. Even if they needed a helping hand to understand what their hearts were feeling. But how many adventures did they have that we never saw? How many people did they meet who helped push them towards their eventual end? Turn the first page to see some of their missing adventures and watch them be inspired by other queer people throughout time and space in this illustrated book of stories. Zine. We love stories. It's very similar to their previous zine. It's essentially a list of some wonderful stories with some excellent accompanying artwork and it's tremendous. If for no other reason than it's just so positive, I praised this last time for just being inherently lovely and we don't get enough of that, we really don't, so first of all, buy it. <laughs> Another important note is that the profits for this will be going to two notable charities. The first being AKT or ACT. They support LGBTQ plus folks of a certain age range who are experiencing homelessness, or could experience homelessness. They also support Forget-Me-Not Children's Hospice, and it's a children's hospice, so of course they're doing good work. How dare you question? I received this a while ago, but I haven't had the chance to properly go through it, and by it, I mean the bag it came in. I have been reading the book, and it's been lovely, I've been loving it so far, and again, the artwork is stupendous. But I'm not a book critic, I'm too dumb for that. I've read like a handful of the Target novels and a bit of Hitchhiker's Guide. I'm not good. But what I can do is have a look at what's in here. I specifically didn't look at what's in here because, well, that was the fun bit last time. There were a few extra goodies that come with the zine that I get giddy about because it's cool art and stuff and I don't know what's in here. So let's just get on with it because this is the one thing I've not allowed myself to see until it was on camera. For the content, hashtag! <laughs> well, the first obvious thing to look at is... Damn it. This gorgeous artwork. There is a massive list of everyone who contributed in the book. Uh, presumably this is everything from the story authors to the artists. Read it. Read it. You reading? You getting all this? We also have some bits in the beginning with art by and such. Let's see if we can find this piece on the front. If I'm being dumb, that's not surprising. Anywho, let's dive in to this bag of goodies. I love goodies like Christmas morning, but it's June. So first thing is this. With, I like the chibis, a little, little chibis, uh, not chibnall. Uh, <laughs> got the logo of the zine. I think this is the logo of the zine. Yes, yes it is. I just glanced at the Twitter because I'm a cheater. So the next one I found was this, which all looks like it's from the same artist, a very similar style. Especially a fan of this one, where it, presumably it's when they lunged into the TARDIS and both landed on the mattress. The saucy, the saucy indeed. Ah! Oh, hello. What is this? It's in a special little baggie. Let's open it up. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's see what we got. Well, we got what I believe is another sticker. Oh, yeah, last time I, when I got the stickers out, I didn't even know there were stickers. Because I'm genuinely that stupid. Why do they trust me? We got this lovely TARDIS piece again, a smaller version of this. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> uh, we got the Sonic. That says something. Oh no, have they flipped it? They flipped it by accident! No! Oh, that's awkward. Still cool though. It makes it look like it's in another language. I'm just gonna say, that was probably on purpose. Hell yeah. A little Yaz and a little 13 pin. Very cute. And then, lastly, we've got this little key ring. Oh, I love the sparkles on that. I hope that's coming up on camera. 
because that's that's ruddy lovely that is. I can't help but go in a bit of 13. Oh, we got a bookmark. Love abides in the face of everything. And there they are. A plunging to their death by the looks of it. Maybe they're going through a time window to fight Sutek. Does look like 13's about to absolutely get her with those boots. Like just just watch out is all I'm saying. Oh, we got some artwork. These are the best bits, personally, for me. I absolutely adore gushing over beautiful artworks. And so this is what my favorite part about all of this. I love this style. I love 13 in this style, especially. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Oh, this one's cool though. It's a god, oh, god. I love them all, okay? I, I just, I don't want to come across like I like some more than others, even though everyone has natural preferences. That is very cute, like a sketchbook style, like it's on, on graph paper. Where I liked 13 in the last one, I very much like Yaz in this one. Very cool indeed. Don't know what this is though. The yelling sprouts? Is that, am I lost on that reference? Little adipose though, love adipose. Oh, lovely that is. That's the artwork that was on uh, the cover of the book, as well as the bag. So, I mean, they say it's the best one. Whether you agree, let me know if you agree in the comments below. <laughs> but it is gorgeous, and uh, obviously it's that scene from the end of Power of the Doctor. But no glowy hand, so actually it's the worst because it's not accurate. And as you can see by the text, not AI generated. AI generated can kiss my rear. Oh, you got a daytime, nighttime. That's cute. That's actually quite cute. I like that a lot. And I didn't even notice the Gallifreyan text in the sky because it's so subtle. It's beautiful. I adore all these goodies. I don't know what's my favorite, so I'm gonna arbitrarily choose one at a glance. You know what, maybe it's too obvious, but I do, I mean, these are pretty damn good. I don't know which I prefer, maybe the nighttime one, but I also like the vibrancy of the daytime one. It's hard to pick everybody, everyone that I've read so far, I haven't actually finished it. It's, it's a thick old chonky boy, but every bit of art that I've seen, every story I've seen is full with passion and love for the show and these characters. So if you like these characters and by proxy the show, it'd be weird that you didn't like the show. If you go into this, my book, it's not unheard of. Ooh, I went a bit high there. Then I would highly recommend checking out Thasmin Fanzine at Thasmin Fanzine on Twitter to order yourself a copy. There's multiple different versions you can get, for example, either the night or day cover of this. Uh, you've already seen that I, I think I prefer this one. So go for this one or you're wrong. You can get one that's just the merch if you're not a big fan of reading. Like me. <laughs> or you can get a digital version of the book if you just fancy a flick through, all with varying prices. Or you can just donate, give them money, please. Actually, yeah, that, why do you do all five? And all of them are actually very well priced, to be fair. The most expensive it goes is £35. And for all of this, all the gubbins, you can't really argue with that. Especially, again, if you're a fan of these characters and the show as a whole. And also it supports charity. Like, you, you want to be cool and not support charity? Wow. Well done. <laughs> Sorry if I'm coming across more sarcastic than usual. I, uh, yesterday night was Empire of Death premiere at the cinema, so I'm a bit... A bit loopy. Last note I'll end on, once again, thank you to the lovely Zine people for reaching out and sending this my way. You didn't have to, and it was lovely, and I have adored going through this. Even though I think this has been a quite a rushed review, because I still don't know how to review things. <laughs> but know that I loved it, and I want everybody watching this, if they haven't already, I know some people have, to get this, to pre-order it, or order it. It has been a while. Uh, I don't know if, the, I think it's still pre-ordered. I'm reasonably sure. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again, Zine folk, for sending it my way. Uh, Natalia and Vicky specifically. Buy it. Buy it! <laughs>